Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I have something fun to share with you that I got in the mail that I purchased. And I think you might be interested if you like journaling or any type of memory keeping. It is this little thing right here. You might be wondering, what is this? Well, this is the Kodak Mini 2 Retro Printer. And it's in this super cute case. Now, I was gonna do a full unboxing, but I just feel like it's better for me to try something out and see how I like it. Um, I've only used it a handful of times so far, but I will show you the box it came in, of course, since I've already opened it up. It's a bit dismantled, but this was a really great bundle and I don't know if it will still be available um, at the time of this you know, video, but it comes with the printer. It came with two 30 packs of the print cartridges. Has obviously all of the directions and everything. Here's the second photo pack. And it comes with this case, which I think this is so cute. And this will make it so much easier to take along with me if I go anywhere and I wanna have a handy little printer, like we're going to the beach in a couple weeks and I think it'll be really cute to just bring that because we're going with friends and it might be nice to be able to print some photos for them. Um, and then it does come with some extra little goodies that just like a little photo album, some stickers and other little storing things like this little tin, which is actually cute because the photos can fit in here really well. Um, so I think that's everything that it came with and I thought it would be fun to at least share with you, uh, a few of the ways that I would use it. Not the few, wait, what? but instead of just having this video be completely just showing you a printer, I thought it would be fun to actually use it and show you how I like to use these little photos. I have printed one out already, which I'll just give you a little peek here and then we're gonna go ahead and do a journaling page together. So let's see, this is the picture that I printed. Really great quality, so easy to use. And I have the app on my phone for printing, which makes it super easy. I'm filming on my phone right now, but um, it's just like any other printing app. And you can also just print straight from your photos anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and choose a photo to print so that I can get on with a little journaling spread. The app is really simple to use. You basically just go in, choose the photos you want. You can choose more than one at a time, which is convenient. And of course it has different editing options like frames, really fun options for frames actually. And then of course you can change the lighting, saturation, all of that. So when you're ready to print, you can keep your photo printer in the case but you'll just wanna make sure that it is on. There's a power button right there, and you'll hear it come on. And then you can continue with printing. So here is the three photos. I think they look great. And now let's figure out a fun little setup here. Since I already had one of these little paint chip card tags. I think I'm going to make a second one because I think they would look really cute with the two of the photos on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I already had this little extra hole reinforcer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up it on the top here so that we can kind of turn it into more of a tag. And I'll just use my hole punch here. Okay, so let's check out, I think, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this yellow to put in the top here. I am really looking forward to having more time for personal journaling as far as memory keeping goes because I haven't been able to keep up on my normal memory keeping um and it's making me sad because i have just so many photos and things that i want to incorporate into my journals and 
it's just hard. Okay, I already am liking how this picture looks on that color, so we're gonna go with this, and then that one looks great there. And I think I'm just gonna glue these straight down. Oops. So cute, and I can do some journaling on the back if I want. I, I just kind of wanted to pick out some of my favorite photos from summer so far of my kids. Kind of just to, I feel like these, the ones I chose really capture like their looks of course, but then like their personalities more importantly. And so I'm excited for that. Okay, and I kind of wanted to include this little pocket if it worked out. So let's see, I could do like the middle of the page, but we have another photo too. Hmm. Maybe a label up here would be nice. Or, oh, I have this little pocket here. Okay, I'm already gonna just go with it. I'm gonna glue, I love these little, they're wallpaper like, envelopes or not envelopes but little bags that I got from oh another youtuber it was like mushroom market I I wish I could remember she sent me some I mean probably two years ago but I've been hoarding them because I think they're so cute okay Ooh, I got this in recent happy mail too it's a little clip that says family I might for now I'm just gonna clip this on here because I think uh, I got that from Jade, one of my Patreon members. And I have these little tags here. Just trying to look for something that might fit in that. Yeah, like that one right there, perfect. I'll probably write the date down on that or something. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this down here. Um, I'm gonna grab my double-sided tape for that. I just kind of prefer double-sided tape on vellum when possible. Okay. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna put some here at the top and the bottom in case I wanted to make this into a side pocket as well. I'll just go ahead and remove the backing. This feels so good to be able to do a little personal journaling page. Okay, and I love that this is already decorated for me, so that's perfect. I'm gonna do my journaling on the backs of these. And I think I'll just kind of tuck them in however I want. Yeah, I don't know, I can mess around with that. It doesn't really matter, the order. And then, like I said, I wanna do something over here to incorporate this picture. I could do like a little background or something like that. Let's see, I have, so if you're wondering what I'm grabbing from, it can't really fit in the frame. I just have my little goodie box of things that are mostly from Taper Lodgy. And I do have this little like frame kind of thing. That might be cute. I think it like opens up Kind of like an, a little pocket kind of thing. So I like this, but I don't love that it's white. I wonder if I could just ink it up and make that easy. Or I wonder, would it be time consuming to kind of collage over the top of it? Hmm. I think I'm just going to go for this. So first of all, I'm just gonna trim down. I'll show you what I mean as we go along. This was a printable, by the way, that I printed out oh, a couple months ago, but I just have it like extra. And gosh, I, I can't recall the shop and I hope I didn't just cut that too short. If I can remember the shop name, I will absolutely put it below because she had really pretty printables. And it's hard to keep up anyways. Um, so for this, I think I'm just going to add little bits of double-sided tape on this frame. What I'm hoping to do is cover everything except for the center. 
of the frame and it's gonna be a little tricky so i might fast forward this part a bit but i'll at least show you mostly what i'm doing okay i'm not too concerned about um tape covering all of this because it's just not really going to be that important but i am going to get some on all four sides at least and then we'll go ahead and remove And I'm just trying to do this as quick as I can, so I'm not trying to make it perfect. But that's how I that's how I journal anyways. For me, the most important part is just getting those memories down and getting them into your journals. Okay, there we go. Move this over here to my other desk. I feel like I need to, this journal is a little big to work in. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, geez. Well, that should be okay. I could take this journal out of the main journal. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm just going to try to cover the best I can. If I don't get it perfect, I can just add some ink to the edges because I did not get it perfect, but that's okay. Now we're gonna really just trim off that excess much closer. Then we will work on the center. I could have just traced the inner part, if that makes sense. I could have like put the paper down, traced it, and then cut it out, but I like to do things uh, more difficult than they need to be um i was hoping for smaller scissors but that didn't i need like something to poke this with which we have right here now i'm just gonna do my best at cutting along the edges of the frame so like i said this part is gonna take me a bit um so I will be back once I have it all trimmed out because I'm gonna have to bring this close to my eyes and whatnot. Okay, definitely not perfect, but I think it's gonna it's gonna be fine, like unless you're looking at it closely and it's you know mine personal anyway. So now I'm gonna take this yellow ink, which just so happens to be the perfect color, go around the edges, and that's really gonna help us hide any of those imperfections. Then we can basically just place the photo, since the photo is quite a bit smaller than the frame, I think I'll add like a little background to it. I'm just gonna go around the edges here too. Okay, so let's see. I think I'll have that be the background here. So we'll decorate right here just a little bit and I think I'm going to take I have like all of these handmade papers and whatnot so I'm I just want to make it um what am I what's the word I'm looking for I just want it to be kind of basic actually do that one or here we go I'll use one of these gold speckled pages and I don't need to cover the entire background, but we'll just do it to make it easy so we know it fits. Okay. <laughs> Can't grab that. Oh boy. I'm just gonna add a little dab of glue for that. Oh, did I put it on the wrong side? Oh, no. <gasps> no, that's fine. Okay. Then I can go ahead and just glue the picture kind of centered in there. Yeah, that works. It's almost a perfect size for this little frame. Okay, and then since this card, whatever it was, was kind of a trifold, I can just, I 
could sew around it and I think I'm gonna do that off camera real quick. I'm just gonna sew around the bottom three edges so that it can be a top loading pocket. I did some very, very messy stitching as you can see. And so I actually left the side open and I thought I have some little stationary paper here. My lighting changed also while that was happening. I think I can stick this in here or I might have to put it in half and then I can do some journaling on here is kind of what I was thinking. I don't know that I'll need to do that much journaling, but it's an option. Okay, let's go back to our page and I think I'm just gonna stick it on this little half page here. And I'm just going to continue on with my double, I kind of like using double sided tape once in a while. I'm not sure why, I just sometimes prefer it. Okay, we'll just do a couple little pieces here. Maybe add a third on the edge. Then just remove the backing if I can get that off there. This was very fun and it gets me super excited to do more journaling and I love this little mini printer. I just think it kind of makes the whole process just kind of fun and I have a Canon selfie if you didn't know. So it's another little printer and it does print four by six photos and I do like it, but it's it needs to be plugged in. It's not like cordless. It can't really ever fit on my area. So I just like that this one is a mini version and it was really for for what it's worth i think it's very inexpensive and i love the little bundle i love the cute little case not that that's the most important but i am excited to have that so i think this is it i might put a little label right here is what i was thinking with the date in fact we can just grab a little label here out of my bin Maybe just something plain like that. I think that will work. And then I already have my date stamp with the date on here. Grab some black ink for this one. And we'll just add our date. I always like to do it twice for some reason. I'm not sure what that reason is. And I think this is a sticker. Yep. So we can just peel it and add it to the top. And I think that that will complete, there we go, this layout. And I'll go ahead and pop this back into my big journal. And I hope this inspires you in some way. It actually inspires me and is uh, making me want to do some more layouts, but I have no time right now. So this is it for today's video. Leave me a comment down below so I can say hello and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.